thing he forgot to mention was the fact that the use of technology now becomes enshrined in law. We know in the past they'll say, oh, card reader is not, a, it's not legal, it's not in the law, so it cannot be used as evidence in court cases. But this new law, Electoral Bill 2022, recognizes INEC's prerogative to use technology. So BVAS, whatever other technology that INEC wants to use, they can use it. Number one. Number two, as of last year, we all knew when election was going to be. February 18, March 4. No be so. February 18, March 4. No be so. If the president does not sign the bill today, by tomorrow morning, when we wake up, we will say, when is our presidential election? We don't know. It's sometime next year. That's what we'll be saying. So the fact that INEC has been proactive, they announced dates, I think, 10 years in advance, and people can plan. We know when our elections are, we can plan towards it. But if the president does not sign the bill today, that then becomes... It's jeopardized, really. And it, I mean, as someone said, it's almost a sabotage of the process because we are, we've been, the opportunity or the ability for INEC to plan, for citizens to plan, for the media to plan has been taken away. And lastly, I, I, you know, <laughs> the statement that the presidency issued yesterday, again, to just reiterate, we're patriotic Nigerians. This is not about trying to make trouble or anything. As Samson said, shooting case. The president is not aware that if he doesn't sign today, by tomorrow, we don't have concrete dates for our election. And it's not something we need as a country right now. ASU is on strike. There's poor scarcity. There's adulterated poor. There's just one thing. There's insecurity all over the place. Can we just at least, the one that we can plan for, violence against women, I mean, the, the list of issues are endless that all of us here are working on. Can we not add yet another one? Let's take this one off the table so we can focus on having elections that are free, that are fair, that are credible. This postponement, 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 we should stop this thing one day. Some parties are still struggling with their conventions today, tomorrow, next month, who knows? But let's not make that a Nigerian problem. Nigerians had election dates, they were clean, they were clear. If the president signs today, it remains that. What do we want the president to do? Sign the bill. What are we asking? Just sign the bill. What are we asking? Sign the bill. Thank you. I'll pass on to...